Well, Victoria police say stepped up enforcement in bars and on downtown streets late at night is paying off. Officers arrested two people over the past week with connections to gangs or to organized crime on the lower mainland. One of the accused is even banned from being on Vancouver Island in the first place and now is facing a charge of violating a court order. Vic PD says its message is clear. Criminals are not wanted in the capital city. Hey, News reporter Stephen Andrew has the story. Neil at 6. <laughs> these guys, these guys More police will be seen in downtown Victoria over the next five months, and they are getting help from the city's Bar Watch program, which captures names and photos of everyone who enters a Victoria nightclub. Four additional officers patrol the bars at night, looking for potential troublemakers, excessive drinking, and people with known connections to gangs. A well-known criminal from the mainland, another one with the gang associations, was arrested after being found in a downtown nightclub. His probation order prohib prohibited him from being in a licensed establishment or consuming alcohol. The officers found Dwayne Ingram in the Plan B nightclub. Vic PD says Ingram is one of the very people they are looking to deter from coming into the downtown core. He's an extensive criminal record for robbery, break and enter, assault with a weapon, assault, and has been convicted at least 14 times of violating court conditions. He was remanded in custody and was subsequently released by a justice of the peace. Court records show that Ingram is co-accused on a drug trafficking charge with another man from the lower mainland, Corey Seymour. Victoria police say they also arrested Seymour this past week in downtown Victoria. Court records show Seymour is banned from being on Vancouver Island. That condition was placed on him by the courts after he was arrested in a vehicle down in downtown Victoria in possession of drugs and weapons in early December. Vic PD stopped short of saying Seymour is connected to gang activity. He is involved in drug trafficking and we know that drugs flow from organized crime. Investigators say the arrests over the past week do not indicate a rise in gang or organized crime activity in Victoria, but wherever there is a business case, crimes of opportunity occur. The Vic PD says those crimes of opportunity appear to know no age limits. In an unrelated case, investigators arrested two women here at the Best Western in a harbor last week. One of them, a 17-year-old Saanich High School student. In the room, officers located a loaded 45 caliber semi-automatic handgun crack cocaine and over $10,000 cash. Police say both teens have been released and will be charged as more evidence is collected. In Victoria, Stephen Andrew, A News.